Under the careful gaze of Myong Yicho, the executive of plant genomics at a foundation that is working with food and candy company Mars, the plants will be changed. In the event that all goes well, these little seedlings will soon be fit for surviving, and flourishing, in the drier, hotter atmosphere that is sending chills through the spines of agriculturists over the globe. It's all on account of another innovation called CRISPR, which takes into account small, exact changes to DNA that were never conceivable. These changes are as of now being utilized to make crops less expensive and more solid. Yet, their most essential utilize might be in the creating scene, where a considerable lot of the plants that individuals depend on to maintain a strategic distance from starvation are undermined by the effects of environmental change, including more vermin and an absence of water. Cacao plants involve a dubious position on the globe. They can just develop inside a tight portion of rainforest and arrive approximately 20 degrees north and south of the equator, where temperature, rain, and mugginess all stay generally consistent consistently. Over portion of the world's chocolate now originates from only two nations in West Africa, Côte d'Ivoire and Ghana. Yet, those regions won't be appropriate for chocolate in the following couple of decades. By 2050, rising temperatures will push the present chocolate developing areas more than 1,000 feet tough into rocky landscape, a lot of which is at present protected for untamed life, as per the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Mars, the $35 billion enterprise best known for Snickers, knows about these issues and others displayed by environmental change. In September, the company promised $1 billion as a feature of an exertion called Supportability in a Generation, which intends to diminish the carbon impression of its business and production network by over 60% by 2050. We're endeavoring to bet everything here, Barry Parkin, Mars' central supportability officer, revealed to Business Insider. There are clearly responsibilities the world is inclining toward at the same time. To be honest, we don't believe we're arriving sufficiently quick on the whole. Its drive with Cho at UC Berkeley is another arm of that endeavors. In the event that all goes as arranged, they could create cacao plants that don't shrivel or spoil at their present rises, getting rid of the need to migrate homesteads or discover another approach. Jennifer Doudna, the UC Berkeley geneticist who created CRISPR, is regulating the coordinated effort with Mars. Despite the fact that her apparatus has gotten more consideration for its capability to annihilate human infections and make alleged fashion of babies, Doudna figures its most significant applications won't be on people but instead on the food they eat. An ardent tomato nursery worker, Doudna figures her device can profit everybody from substantial food organizations like Mars to singular specialists like herself. By and by, I'd love a tomato plant with organic product that remained on the vine longer, Doudna revealed to Business Insider. The exploration lab she regulates at UC Berkeley is known as the Innovative Genomics Institute. A large number of the endeavors by graduate understudies there concentrate on utilizing CRISPR to profit little holder ranchers in the creating scene. One such undertaking intends to ensure cassava, a key product that keeps a huge number of individuals from starving every year, from environmental change by tweaking its DNA to create to a lesser extent an unsafe poison that it makes in more sultry temperatures. Doudna established a company called Caribou Biosciences to incorporate CRISPR, and has additionally authorized the innovation to rural company DuPont Pioneer for use in crops like corn and mushrooms. Notwithstanding which trim the general population sees CRISPR effectively utilized as a part of in the first place, the innovation will be a key device in a developing arms stockpile of methods we'll require in the event that we intend to keep eating things like chocolate as the planet warms. Related news now the chocolate can become extinct was last modified January 1, 2018 by Amanda Carano.